Good morning, everyone. We are on our way down to the middle of Iowa to pick up a brand new trailer. And this is a really cool trailer. But I'm not going to give too much away. I just want to let you know what we're doing. We got about a four hour drive. And uh, as soon as we get there, I'll turn the camera back on, start introducing you to people, and show you around. So without wasting more time, let's get there right about now. Way trailers, bring into a new trailer. Heck yeah! Let's do it. That's insane. Oh, holy crap! That's not a specialty either. That's just standard colors. Oh my god! Look, they got more of them. Why am I whispering? I'm on camera. That doesn't make sense. Stanley. Yes. Ben here with Horizon. How are you today, man? Ben, nice to meet you. Holy crap. Just my initial impression on this thing, Ben. Is this standard or? This is all standard here. So rounded sides, that was not. So, so the things that makes us different from our competitors is obviously the rounded sides that we got here. Nobody else has that. So it's more like a dump trailer. I mean, right. more like a, a demolition dump trailer. Right, right. Okay, okay. Right, so you don't lose your strength because they're rolled. Uh -huh. So we don't have stake pockets here, but you know you have will, you will still maintain your strength here. Up here on front, if you look on the gooseneck, it's someone engineered. So it's something else that nobody has had before. I mean, you, you see some other competitions have the complete engineered neck. Uh -huh. We do the semi-engineered -engin semi because we want the nice slanted version of the neck, you know. Okay. And here the toolbox on the dump trailer. We have the pump, the battery, but you still have your compartment to throw some trains in, some food and stuff like that. So some stuff that makes us a little bit different from our competitors. Uh-huh. And your color pattern. Tell me about that. So is this a custom custom or is this stock? This is stock. Two tone, no extra cost. We have nine different colors to choose from and we don't ch ch charge anything extra. If you guys want two tone, one tone, whatever you guys want. Ramp holders. You can put the ramp on both sides. So as you see, most trailers, you only got the pockets on one side. This one has it for both sides. So other side you come from, you just put your ramps on too. This well, here, small little detail, it's backlit. It's got a three quarter inch bullet light in the back. So at night it's gonna shine. Oh, it's gonna just make it pop <laughs> even more. I don't even know where to begin, Ben. What's the axle rating on this one? This is a 10K. 10k each axle. Yes, sir. You guys don't mess around. No. So is there uh, is there other axle? Yeah, we got 7k. So so we got you know obviously the small, seven or ten. We got the small trailers with 3.5, 5.2, 7.0, and 10k. Okay. We also just released a trailer with the 10 and 12k tandem dual axles. So that's an even larger one on this a, one. A, a pickup truck dump pole behind gooseneck yeah. like a with pole, a like, with a tandem axle. Yes. 10 and 12k. So you're talking about two two tires on each side. Right. So we're we're all clear on this. Yeah. So eight tires. You would yeah you would be carrying eight tires. Holy crap. So like a four by. So we got one here that we offer. It's it's a four by twenty, um, on the on that model. And you've got the tarp incorporated into the. So that's protected, so it's not exposed. So if guys are dumping in there, they're right. not going to be bending and breaking no. that tarp or catching exactly. it with demolition debris. Right. So that's more protected. Wow. Where are the ramps at for it? Wait a minute. Two in the back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ben. What is this? Side door. It's come standard as well. We, it's, it, it it's come, comes with the trailer. <laughs> you're, not, you're not kidding, no, right? No, it comes standard. No Holy joke. crap. I mean, I don't know what to say. Will you pop that open yes, sir, for me? I got my hand filled with a camera and the other one. So you got this so you can side load right into the... Yeah, so why we build it? So obviously you got the contractors that will use... 
pellets, whatnot, you can just put that on the side, and then from there you can just go and put your, you know, your, your uh, forks into the pockets. Look at this, we got triple lights in the back. Two, three, one, two, three. Got little details. Just little things. Ben, will you open up the gate and show me how this works? So we have the, uh, the normal gate with the spreader gate. The ramps are here in the back. All right, guys, well, we got to do the walk around with Ben, but let's introduce you to the rest of the team. Would you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Nate with Rightway Trailers. Nate, what do you do for these guys? I'm an owner. Yep, you're, you're, Blake and I are the co-owners. Oh, okay. Yep. And you're Blake? Yes, I am. All right. Yep. And you are? I'm Kevin. Kevin Gunderson. Kevin? B&K Midwest. Yeah. My first impression was this is almost too good to be true. True. In a lot of ways. So has there been a lot of issues, returns, things like that going on with them? I mean, because people that use them, mm -hmm. that's the, the test of time is the yep. true test. It is. So tell me about that. No, I think we've had zero we warranty had, claims so yep. far. In we haven't had months. a single one come back um, with any problems. We've had people actually call up and say how much they've loved it so far. So um, it's been, uh, they've been going really well. How big of an area do you guys cover? I mean, we go coast to coast. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll send a trailer anywhere in the country that you need, but um, obviously we service this Midwest area okay. very heavily. Okay, so what? how do guys find you then? So if they want one, do they call you? Do they look on the website? What do they do next? They can do either one, rightwaytrailers.com. Okay. Yep, right there. Okay. Um, otherwise, they can give us a call. Our sales team would be- What's the number? 319-393-4544. Okay. Ben, you're out of this equation because oh, yeah. you are the sales rep, sales rep for this. So I want just a guy that has just the, uh, knowledge on both trailers to walk me through the differences for you guys. Let, so. them, let them be the judge of it, right? So. Yep. Let them. Okay. okay, so Blake, you agreed to yeah. walk me through these two trailers and these yep. basically are in the same price point mm -hmm. and the same categories, but Will you point out the differences, yeah. both good and bad? I don't yeah. want you to favor one or the other. Yep. If these guys have a PJ trailer, I want to know what they're getting. And if they're yep. looking at a horizon, I want them to know the 100% unbiased yep. truth. Yep, no, certainly. Okay. Yeah, and like you said, these are going to be very, very comparable trailers. Both are going to have tandem 10,000 pound axles. Both are going to be 83 by 16. The only major difference between the two is that this one's going to be a three foot side, which this one's going to be a four foot side. Okay. So, Overall, you're going to be very comparable in that aspect. Um, one thing to just point out with regards to how they do things differently, right? We're going to start with the tarp kit right up front. PJs kind of integrate it into the bed to where it's flush at the top here. Over here on the horizon, what they do is they kind of put it up high and then they make a box surrounding it. Um, one nice thing about that is it does kind of secure it and keep it out of the elements in a little bit there. Um, it also gives it a little bit of protection in that aspect. Yep. Um, as we kind of walk down here, PJs are all going to be with what I'm going to consider like a straight side wall, right? Um, and, and you'll really notice it obviously when you open the inside. And, and one thing you'll notice on the driver's side of that one is you will have a side door with the pa pallet fork um, integrated into the trailer. Now, which... this is a picky point, but I'm looking at the paint quality. Mm -hmm. this... I don't, I'm not impressed. Yes, yep, so, um, you know, there are certainly times there where it was touch and go for a while. It's definitely gotten a little bit better, but yes, I have noticed over um, time that it hasn't been 100% perfect, um, nor do I expect them to be 100% perfect, but I have noticed out of the horizons, um, it seems like they're doing something just a little bit different in that aspect. I mean, when you really get tied up in here and you really look anywhere you look, Yeah. And then when we do the exact same thing, now this is just your stock PJ, but this yep. is the competitor. I mean, that's just. Yep, yep. And, and again, to, to give you a comparison, I mean, obviously this trailer has been here for several months as well. Your trailer has been here for several months. So it's not like it just showed up today and it just came off the factory line last week. This trailer has been here for almost going on three months. It's been sitting outside in the elements and this is what it kind of looks like, right? So we have not repainted anything, not touched anything up. This is what we got. So we they've both been sitting out in the elements about the same amount of yes. time. The integrated four pockets, which do come standard on the Horizon in the 10K series. Okay. Um, 
is not obviously something that's standard on this series. One thing I do like about the Horizons, whether it's it works or not, they did integrate some slots in the steps. To me, I kind of like it because it gives it the ability to have things fall through. Fall through obviously, yeah. as you're getting up and down, the less stuff that's collecting there, the better for your safety aspect. Of less it. marker lights. When we look at here, I got a marker light, marker light, marker, 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 marker. Yep. Three tail lights in the back. Well, I got a marker light there, here, one down here, nothing here, and your tail, your tail lights down in the smash zone. That to me is the smash zone. 100%. Yep. And another thing is where we live here in the Midwest. A lot of salt, sand, grime, crap is all going to start from the bottom and work its way up, right? So the more you can keep your lights up, secure, kind of in its own little box out of the elements, mm -hmm. certainly helps for the longevity of it. So I see the door mechanism is similar. Now, the one thing I will point out about the door mechanisms here, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. when you have the door latch on the PJ, essentially what they did here is on the inside, they put a little pin that as you swing it, it snaps in. That is a great feature. Yeah, that's um, nice. In the contractor world with individuals that are using them every single day, it tends to sometimes fail. Um, I, you could, know. I could see that as well. I yes. mean, I can, because I'm just looking at it going, well, it's nice, but yes. that doesn't yep. look For the like average heavy consumer, duty. it's great, right? You know, in that aspect. Now, one thing I did like about what Horizon had done is the simplicity aspect of it, right? So yeah. essentially what they did is they did something simple, welded on a D-ring. D-ring to a latch, it's yep. not, it's just a, done. Okay, so they've got their floor overlapped. Yes. That's actually, I kind of like that personally. I mean, yep. it's gonna collect stuff, but whatever, what have you, that's yep. not the end of the yep. world. Both, both are gonna be the same flooring gauge, both seven gauge floor, both 10 gauge sides. Um, one thing that, that PJ does and other manufacturers is with the box set up on the front, uh -huh. a lot of them will integrate uh, some sort of latch system into it. One thing that we have noticed about the latch systems is in our environment, again, salt grime everything's going to start eating away at this again i personally we'll, hate those yes yep we replace them quite frankly a lot one nice thing that i like that they did here on the horizon again simplicity is kind of what i like it's simple it's it's just a bar it's just a mechanism that's it it's you can still put your own padlock on it um still going to be something that's going to be useful again in you know a year after use there's nothing to go wrong there <laughs> again we sell both of them they're both going to be quality trailers in my opinion these are what i'm going to point out as differences um same pr and the same price points. very similar prices very similar prices you know within okay. 500 dollars is the big question is what, what kind of cylinder do they have on it do they got a little inky dinky thing or do they got something with some beef to it we're going to find out this is the first time i've ever seen it up in the air what is the empty weight of this trailer been this one comes around 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds, yes, licensed at 20,000, so you got 14,000 uh, of net. That's correct. I was saying I noticed that you've got your central supports running the lengthwise of the trailer, but then you went so far as to add cross members as well down the That's sides. Mm -hmm. And another thing, if this trailer is completely lifted up, you have a 48 degree dump angle. And well, let's lift it all the way up. I want to see what a 48 degree dump angle looks like. More important, I want to see what kind of clearance we get in the back. A lot of these trailers, when they get super high, they hit in the back. My sure track is a butt dragger. That's 48 degrees right there. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, nothing sticking in that, is it? Good cycle time, too. Is it power up, gravity down, or is it power up, power down? It's a power up, power down trailer, and I decided to take it out onto the road before I loaded it up with its very first load. I just wanted to see how well she, the truck would handle her and how smooth she would go down the road. And she's a glider. So she just, she's dead silent back there. And the best thing about this trailer is you don't hear it, but you can see it pretty easily. So as it's going down the road, it's not rattle cannon you apart, but every time you look in your mirrors, you got this beautiful, gorgeous, two-tone trailer that just kind of pops and sticks in your eyesight. But I think we need to load her up coming up.
All right, you guys. Well, that's going to call it for today's adventure, but that does not call it for this adventure period. We still got more to come. In fact, on the very next video, we get to play in that brand new John Deere skid loader. And we're going to put a big fat load of dirt on this trailer and take it down the road and see how she handles it. So if you want to see some of that fun coming up, hit that subscribe button. And if you got some good information out here that maybe could help you with your own trailer purchase decisions, the thumbs up goes a long way. And let me know what you think of this Horizon trailer. The color, the, pad, the, the quality. I'm telling you right now, when you see one face to face and up tight and in person, they are a very impressive trailer. But you tell me what you thought of it. That's it for this video. God bless you guys. Go get them.